Our objectives in this lesson are the following. Identify and understand the sigma notation and use the summation notation in expressing the sum of given numbers. Let's have an activity, take the shortcut. Do you know that we can express this in a shorter way? 3 plus 4 plus 5 is also equal to this. 3 times 3 plus 3 times 4 plus 3 times 5 is the same as this one. Quantity 3 plus 3 plus quantity 3 plus 4 plus quantity 3 plus 5 is also equal to this one. This is what we call summation. This is the Greek capital letter sigma. It indicates summation. Notice that I specify here capital because if it is not capital, it does not look like this and it does not mean summation. A small letter sigma represents a standard deviation, which you will learn some other time. This is the index of summation. I use letter I here. I equals L indicates that the summation will start at X sub L. This one is the lower limit. It indicates the starting value that the index will take on. So L here has a numerical value. If L here is the lower limit, this one is the upper limit. The upper limit indicates the largest value that the index will take on. This one represents the variable. Well, this one is the subscript. The subscript may be any letter, although I, J, and K are often used. The X sub I represents each addend in terms of the index variable I. This whole notation here is read as the summation of X sub I, I going from L to N. Let's have an activity, sum me up. Given X sub 1 is equal to 3, X sub 2 is equal to 5, X sub 3 is equal to 8, X sub 4 is equal to 10, and X sub 5 is equal to 12. Let us evaluate this one. This is read as the summation of X sub I, I going from 1 to 5. Our first value here is X sub 1. And then this is summation, so we are going to add X sub 2, X sub 3, X sub 4, and X sub 5. From 1 up to 5. It's here, from 1 up to 5. Now let us substitute our values of Xs. Let us add 3 plus 5 is 8, 8 plus 8 is 16, 16 plus 10 is 26, 26 plus 12 is 38. Let's have another example. This is read as the summation of X sub I, I going from 3 to 5. So meaning we are going to start with X sub 3. So here it is. And then let us add X sub 4 and then X sub 5. Let us substitute the values. Let us add 8 plus 10 is 18 and 18 plus 12 is equal to 30. Let's have another activity. Add and compare. We have the same given. Take a look at this too. What is the difference? In here, the exponent 2 is outside the whole expression of the summation. Let's start with this one. The first value of x that we are going to consider is x sub 1. And it says here is square, so we have x sub 1 squared plus x sub 2 squared until x sub 3 is squared because we have here the upper limit 3. Let us substitute the values. Our x sub 1 is 3, so we have 3 is squared. And then x sub 2 is 5, so plus 5 squared. x sub 3 is 8, so plus 8 squared. 3 squared is 9, 5 squared is 25, and 8 squared is 64. 9 plus 25 is 34, 34 plus 64 is 98. Let's have the other one. In here, the first thing that we are going to do is to get the summation of x sub i, i going from 1 to 3. And then afterwards, we will square the result. So let us perform this one first. We'll have x sub 1 first, and then we'll add x sub 2, and then we'll add x sub 3. And then we are going to 
square. Let us substitute the values of x sub 1 to x sub 3. We have 3, 5, and 8. 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 plus 8 is 16. And 16 squared is 256. The first one is actually the sum of squares. While the second one is a square of the sum. Let us have some more. So take a look at the difference. This one, x sub i plus 2, is enclosed in a parenthesis. This one is not. Let us evaluate this one first. This is the summation of quantity x sub i plus 2. i going from 2 to 4. So meaning the first x that we are going to consider is x sub 2. So let's have x sub 2 and let us add 2 to it. Then let's have x sub 3. Let's add also 2 to it. And x sub 4, let us also add 2 to it. So from 2 to 4. 2, 3, 4. Let us substitute the value of x sub 2 and that would be 5. x sub 3 is 8. And x sub 4 is 10. 5 plus 2 is 7. This one is 10. And this one is 12. 7 plus 10 is 17. 17 plus 12 is 29. Now, let's have this one. This is summation of x sub i. i going from 2 to 4. And then, we're going to add 2 at the end. So, we're going to evaluate this one first. So, this means we are going to consider x sub 2 first. And then, we have x sub 3. And then, x sub 4. And then, we're going to add 2 at the end. Let us substitute the values of x sub 2, x sub 3, and x sub 4. And then plus 2. 5 plus 8 is 13. 13 plus 10 is 23. And 23 plus 2 is 25. Notice that there is a difference in our answer. So you have to be careful in evaluating summation. Here are the basic rules of summation. Rule number 1, the summation of the sum of 2 or more variables is the sum of their summations. Rule 2, if C is a constant, then the sum of the constant times the variable equals the constant times the sum of the variables. Rule number 3, if C is a constant, then the summation of a constant, I going from 1 to n, is equal to n times the constant. So if you are given only a constant, simply multiply the upper limit to the constant. Let us do extra challenge. We have here x sub 1 to x sub 3 and y sub 1 to y sub 3. Let us evaluate this. The summation of quantity 3 times x sub i minus y sub i plus 11 i going from 1 to 3. So we will apply rule number 1 here. We are going to separate this 3. So we have the summation of 3 times x sub i, i going from 1 to 3, minus the summation of y sub i, i going from 1 to 3, then plus the summation of 11, i going from 1 to 3. In here, we can apply rule number 2. Let us factor out this constant here. Let us put here in front. And then in here, we simply copy this. And then for here, we will apply rule number 3. Since we only have a constant here, we just have to multiply the upper limit and the constant. So we have 11 times 3. So let us copy 3. Let us evaluate this. Let us start with x sub 1. And then we're going to add x sub 2. And then x sub 3. So let us substitute those x sub 1 plus x sub 2 plus x sub 3. And then let's have minus. This one is summation of y sub i, i going from 1 to 3. So the first value of y that we are going to consider is y sub 1, and that is 1. And then we have minus 1, and then plus 2. This is y sub 1, y sub 2, y sub 3. And then we have plus 11 times 3 is 33. Now let me continue here. 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 1 is 6. So I have 3 times 6. 1 minus 1 will be cancelled out. So I only have here 2. So minus 2. And then copy plus 33. 
33 times 6 is 18. So, 18 minus 2 plus 33. 18 minus 2 is 16. And 16 plus 33 is equal to 49. Some quick tips. This one is for no limits. When summing over all the values of x sub i that are available, the limits of summation are often omitted. It is simply written as the summation of x sub i. We have here the given x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3, and x sub 4. If you see only summation of x sub i, no lower and upper limits, then it means you are going to get the sum from the first value of x up to the last value. So we have here x sub 1 plus x sub 2 plus x sub 3 plus x sub 4. Let us substitute the values. This will become minus 3. 2 minus 3 is negative 1, plus 7 is positive 6, plus 15 is 21. This one is for no variables written. Start from the lower limit and ends with the upper limit. Let's have an example. You will notice that there is no variable here. If this is the case, you just have to start with the lower limit indicated and ends with the upper limit indicated. So our starting value here is equal to 3. So we have 3 squared, and then 4 is squared, and then 5 squared, and then 6 is squared. 3 squared is 9, this is 16, this is 25, and this is 36. 9 plus 16 is 25, 25 plus 25 is 50, and 50 plus 36 is 86. Now it is time to check your understanding. Pause this video for more time. Let us answer. So this is the summation of quantity x sub i plus y sub i is squared i going from 1 to 3. The first value of x and y that we are going to consider is 1. So let's have x sub 1 plus y sub 1 and then we'll square it. Now let's have x sub 2 plus y sub 2 quantity squared and x sub 3 plus y sub 3 quantity squared. So the first value is 1, it's here. And the last value is 3, here, the upper limit. Let us substitute the values. We have here x sub 1, that is 2, and y sub 1 is 1 x sub 2 is 3, y sub 2 is negative 1, x sub 3 is 1, y sub 3 is positive 2. 2 plus 1 is 3, so we have 3 squared. 3 minus 1 is 2, so we have 2 squared. 1 plus 2 is 3, so we have 3 squared. 3 squared is 9, this one is 4, and this one is 9. 9 plus 4 is 13, and 13 plus 9 is 22. Gets? Our next lesson is Measures of Central Tendency.